Hi, how are you today? I'm very good. Very good. Okay, so what's happening? We're in Bangkok. Hello, Tom. Hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, look what you got here. So we're just in Bangkok making some videos for the Food Channel, but uh, we won't bore you with that. What we're going to do is, don't know yet, we're going to do something in Bangkok today. Uh, this afternoon we'll be catching up with uh, Eric and, uh, and Ying. So it should be good. So we're just at Silom. Uh, what are we going to do now, Som? Oh. Yes. Alright. Pretty much free this afternoon now. Um, done all the uh, all the cooking videos. Very good. Thank you. Cup and cup. Alright, we're gonna find some now. Uh, uh, Central world, please. Then I'll keep on staying Yeah. Thank you. Here you are, here. I lost you there, Som. What happened there? Okay, so I found this snake brand prickly heat at 7 Eleven. And I've got to tell you, it is absolutely amazing. And you just spray it. And you just go like instantly cool. I uh, have your whole body. It's like this rush of this coolness. It's 99 bar. If you come to Thailand, you can't stand the heat. Pick this up at 7 Eleven. Prickly heat. That's it there. And I'm not being paid to say this either. Even Som's getting into it. Get into it, Som, huh? Oh, yeah. It's good, isn't it? I'm going to buy leases of it. So can you feel it now? It takes about... It takes it takes about one minute to kick in, and then you just feel this. I'm feeling it right now. It's like this. That just gives you an idea how many shops here at Central World. We go find the title of Manchester United shirt now. Is that right? Manchester United? Yeah. Okay. That's it there. Is that big enough, you think? I'm thinking that now, Sam, are you? That I think that here probably, I don't know, he wanted a football jersey. He's already got a football jersey, though, hasn't he? Yeah, I'll give him that. Something different. He can wear that when it's getting cool for school. Wear it to school. All right, yeah, get him that. How much is that? 3,000 baht for that. Oh, they don't miss the old Manchester, do they? 3,000 baht for a kid's jumper. Oh. Uh, they don't miss the old Manchester. Get him a Liverpool one. No. What would happen? Would he cry? He no. probably would. I don't know. I cannot say. He probably would. Maybe some people like Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Zara, this is where it starts getting dangerous in here. Oh, are you happy now, Son? Zara? Yeah? You're home now. <laughs> Ding down. Hello. It's a H&M. This H&M store is so big, they've even got a, a coffee shop in the middle of the H&M store. And I'm not joking. This is all one big H&M store. And it's just huge. It goes all the way down there. And can you believe it? They've got a, a coffee shop. Oh, here's this robot again. Hi. So here I am at Shake Shack again, because last time I actually ordered the wrong burger, I was, I was told. I was meant to get the classic, so we're going to get the classic, and I'm going to get it a one bite, one opinion. Some got that, there you go, that's your hot diggity dog. Hot dog, you love a hot dog. And this is it, so this is a Shack Shake Double. This is 340 baht, which is pretty good value actually. Okay, down here for one bite, see if it's better than the last one. Mm. Yeah, much better than the last one, but I still think they're overrated. But pretty good for a burger. That's it. Alright, so what's happening now is we're at the hotel. We've just got back from shopping and stuff. I'm really tired, I haven't stopped all day. But we're going to go over and see Eric now. He's going to show us his condo in Akimai. And I don't know how much he's paying. I think he's paying about 25 or something. He's going to show us his condo and see what he's getting. It's always good to see what people are paying for condos in Bangkok. And we'll take it out of him, and then later I'll come back to the hotel, pick up some, and then we'll go out to uh, have dinner with the guys. Um, but yeah, let's head over there. It's just so busy. Bangkok just never stops. But, uh, mm. oh, I got. A, I'm drinking a uh, drinking a beer. This is my first beer a week. Estella, the old wife beater. <laughs> 
He's got two phones, one for navigation and one for music, would you believe? YouTube music. Bye, mate. Good. How are you? How are you? Good you yourself. To, uh, to my part of town. <laughs> yeah, I have. It's okay. crazy out there. So Johnny just saw me uh, do the face scan. So all the doors here, you scan your face and then it opens the door. Really? So yeah. you just scanned your face. He yeah. just scanned his face into that. And this is the outdoor here. And I'll tell you the benefit. Right? It's kind of creepy, I'll admit, but the benefit is it makes it almost impossible for the owners here to rent these places on Airbnb. Oh, which, is that why? Which is good because, you know, if you're living here full time, yeah. it's kind of nice to not deal with like the tourists. Like, yeah, that keep oh, that's a good idea. Out. Because some buildings, they don't have anything like this. They don't have a fingerprint scan or a face scan. And those buildings tend to have a lot of Airbnb guests. So if you're going to stay long term in a condo in Bangkok, highly recommend you get a building with like a fingerprint scan or a face scan. Because they don't want to update this. They can't update the system. Is that right? Right. Because they're not going to. I mean, the office isn't going to put put yeah. scan Airbnb right, faces right, every right. day. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a very good point. You know, there's nothing worse than Airbnb people. Who's there? <laughs> there's nothing worse. Hello. How are you good? Yeah. Right. Oh, here it goes again. Look. See? Wow, that's amazing. So you don't need a key. No. See, so you, you never go out with a key. No, not even from my apartment door. You'll see. How's that? So he doesn't even have a key to his apartment. Just there's his that, face. No, my apartment door has like a key code. So there's one right here too, but during the busy time they, they leave it open. So what about Ying? Does, has her face been scanned? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there you go, Ying. Oh, she hasn't been scanned? Uh, no, 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 she doesn't live here. She lives over in Ireland. Yeah, but when she comes over and visits? You have, that's the only bad thing. If someone comes to visit, you have to personally go down and get them. And Or if the food comes, you have to go down and get it. So yeah. it's a little annoying for that, but for everything else, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, there you go. It's pretty technology. How old is this building? It's only like three or four years old. That's new, yeah. yeah. Stranger, contact admin. What was that before you just said about COVID? Yeah, I was saying during COVID, uh, it, it takes your temperature too. And if your temperature was over a certain amount, it would not open the door. So I would be nervous like every time, you know, if I felt a little sick or something, like. You know, so if you're coming in and your yeah, temperature is above what, 35? Like whatever, 38, 39, I don't know, Celsius. It wouldn't open the door. It would just say like temperature too high. <laughs> one, one time it happened to me because I was standing out in the sun for like 10 minutes. And I guess like my skin was so hot when I came inside it, it just wouldn't open the door. <laughs> so I mean, it's depending on what you want to do, this is kind of nice. I mean, this is what I call an Asian gym, meaning it's like mostly cardio focused and not so much for weight training. That's what a lot of the condos have is like a gym like this. So back in Boston, I definitely did not have an infinity pool in my condo building. Oh wow, look at that. Oh Jesus, that's infinity, isn't it? That's... That's great. That's perfect. Whoa. That's like infinity. Huh? Look at that for what a view. Eric just brought me a microphone, so we're just testing it. It's double uh, double direction. So yeah, because this is oh, it's pretty windy. I can have a... Oh we'll see how good or bad the audio is. Okay, so if it's the audio is bad, blame him. Huh? But look at that pool. Wow. That's just... What, what floor are you on now? Uh, 31. So 30, 31 floors high. Yeah. And the BTS station is, is right down there. So. Oh, that's your BTS there. Yeah. Oh, that's handy. That's very handy. Look at that purple building there. What an awful colour. Good. How did you paint your building that colour for? Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like that colour? No, that, that's, uh, that's the most horrible, most disgustingest colour I've ever. Whoever approved that should be fired, I think. And oh. here we are. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> what the, what's all this about? It's like a, it's like a TV studio, is it? Yeah. So Johnny would like me to say this is my OnlyFans studio. <laughs> no, I said I said say that you make it pornos. <laughs> As, uh, as lucrative as that might be, we are filming a podcast tonight. So this is actually going to be the first episode. 
So thank you, Johnny, for, for being victim number one. Okay. It's going to be called One Night in Bangkok, and it's just going to be about living here, kind of the experience of coming to Thailand and everything that's involved with that. So uh, check it out. There you go. So there you go. And I only found out about this today, so there's no rehearsal. So this is your kitchen here. Yeah, so this isn't a big apartment. It's just 35 square meters, which is probably like the average size for a one bedroom in Bangkok. So, and believe it or not, this one would probably have more counter space than most one bedroom apartments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, because you got the washing machine there oh, too. Oh, sure, yeah. Because the washer here. All right, and that's your bathroom? Yeah. All right, so it's just, yeah, nice. All right. And that's it, that's the... Double entry. Yeah, that goes into the closet. Uh, oh, we love a double entry. <laughs> oh, this is your bedroom? Yeah, hold on, I'll get the light. All right, so this is your bedroom here. So you can shut that off, that door. Yeah. Nice. So this, yeah. Oh, that looks better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it opens it right up. So I don't know, they call these one bedroom apartments, but the thing that really annoys me is it's not a one bedroom, it's really a studio. They just put this glass door here, this glass wall, yeah. and they call it a one bedroom, but. So how much how much do you pay here in a, a month? So this one is 25,000. When I first looked at it, the landlord wanted 35,000, and it's just not worth that, to be honest. So she said 25 is okay, um, but she did tell me that if I want to renew, it's gonna go up to 30. So I'm, I'm not gonna stay here just because I'd like to try a new area. Not that I don't like it here, I do, but I wanna try a new area. And to be honest, I think for 30,000 or around that budget, you can get something that's a little bigger or a little better, so. Yeah. That's nice. Well, thanks very much for showing us the apartment. No problem. All right. So we're gonna wait for the girls to get here. Yeah. And then we're gonna get into some trouble with them and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a video. <laughs> not that kind of video. All right, so I'm going to go back to the hotel now. I'm going to change. Okay. And uh, I will come back. Cool. All right, we'll see you later. All right, see you guys. All right. Well, look what we got here. We're at the podcast. So we're at my first ever podcast. <laughs> and we've got two lovely ladies here. Song, hello. Ying, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You're very good. Are you ready You're for this? Good. Are you ready for this podcast? What about you, Song? <laughs> You're a bit shocked. You didn't even know it was happening. <laughs> We're actually just coming in and like, she just thought she was coming over and then all of a sudden she walks into the studio. We've got a Polaroid, where's a Polaroid? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, here, sit down, I'm gonna take one of both of you. Right, I'm gonna take one more, I'll give you one, I'll keep one. Okay. Are they expensive? Kind of. Are they Polaroids? How much do you pay per? 10 in a pack. I think it's almost a dollar per photo. A dollar per photo? Yeah. Well, you could go down Kosan <laughs> Road. <laughs> Do you see yourself staying in Huahin or do you, would you move somewhere else? Like up yeah, north I'd or say, wherever? I'm just going to stay there. You want to move? If I got to move out, I'd move to Bangkok. I feel like I get bored easily. Like, I don't think I could stay in a place for yeah, three Yeah, I'm years. used to it now. Like, I'm 40, 44. So, I'm used to it. I mean, I'm, I want that slow, that slow life now. Yeah. I've done the party shit. So... What do your What does your family think of you coming out here? Because I know, like for me, my family hates it. They th they when I first came here, they thought it was the weirdest thing. They thought it was like a phase. Yeah. They just don't really they don't really get it. So what about you? I haven't spoken to them. <laughs> <laughs> now her name is uh what was her name? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thought oh, no. I don't know whatever her name was. Okay. Um, but I went out to like she was like there was like nothing like her mother. She was like 70 and she was still washing clothes on like the wooden board mm. with the grate. So I went out and I brought like a washing machine and a fridge, but that was the worst thing I could have ever done. Right. Because uh, was, it was just money then. They just wanted money. It was just like, oh, she said, oh, I want a new digital camera. And I brought her one and that's when digital cameras were, were like, like brand new. Oh, right? like, because you would, couldn't take, it wasn't on your phone. Anyway, like the next weekend... I said, where's your camera? He said, I gave it to my sister because she wanted one. And I'm like, fuck. That was it. That is a weird situation like foreigners have because you want to give gifts sometimes. Yeah. You want to be nice. But then they take but, advantage. Yeah, that's, that's kind yeah, of the and problem. That's what I, and that's what I hate. Australia. As soon as that happened, I went, right, well, 
you're pulling the piss now. Like I was trying to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you've you've got to help, but then you also you can't be taken advantage of. Okay, so what's happening? Well, not much, not much. We're just driving back from Bangkok to Wahin. Some? What's happening? <laughs> My accelerator cable's broken. And I said to the mechanic last week, it's sticking, there's something not right with the accelerator cable. Can you please check it? Obviously they didn't. And what do we got? We've got a broken accelerator cable. So we're just waiting for a tow truck now who's coming to pick us up. Where, where are we? Samut Sarkhan. And we're gonna catch get a tow truck to take us back to Wahin. I'm gonna throw this car at the mechanic's driveway. So yeah, roadside problems. We're not going anywhere. Okay, it's seven o'clock. We've just got back to Wahin. So I spoke to the mechanic before. I don't know what's happened, but uh, he's gonna, he just said park it in front, he's gonna take care of it tomorrow morning. So that's good. It's just a cable, but you know, we're all safe and sound and we're back home. You know, no big deal. All right, so we'll see you guys soon.